Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to create the employee registration form with a validation. As you can see in the output, in the home view, we have a floating action button. Whenever I will click here, at that time this form is opening, which is taking the name department and from here I can select the employee profile image and whenever I will click on this create employee button, then the employee details will be saved to the app right. In this particular video, I will discuss how to create this form. Okay. Now in the home view, you can see that this floating action button has been created. Whenever I will click here, then it will call controller.move to create employee. Now let me go to home controller. And in the home controller, you can see that this method has been created, which is calling get.toNamed roots.create employee. Now let me move to roots. In the roots folder, you can see in the app pages, sorry, in the app routes, I have created this one and this one and corresponding to this root in the app pages this create employee view will be called with create employee binding correct now let me move to create employee view in this create employee view you can see that in the app bar i have given the title as create employee which is visible here and here in the padding in the body i have taken a padding widget then there is a single child scroll view in the form i have used the key in the key, I have used controller.form key. Now, if I go to create employee controller, then you can see that this global key has been created, which is used here. Okay. Now, for the first text field, the label text is name. And for this, the controller.name editing controller is used. Now, if I go to create employee controller, then you can see that these two text editing controllers has been created. And in the on close, this has been disposed as well. Now, in the validator, I have used controller.validate name. Now, if I go to the controller, then you can see that this validate name method has been created, which is checking if the value is empty, then it will display this provide valid, valid name message. Similarly, I have used validate department, which will check if the value is empty, then it will display provide valid department. And you can see for this department, this controller has been used and in the validator, I am calling controller.validate department, correct. Now, after that, I have taken the row widget. In the row widget, you can see that there is an icon button and whenever this icon button is clicked, at that time, it is calling controller.select image. But before that, let me tell you that in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken this image picker dependency, okay, to select the image. Now, if I go to create employee controller and here you can see that the select image method I have created and here I am using await picker. Now, what is this picker? Picker is nothing but the instance of image picker which has been provided by that image picker plugin. It contains a method pick image and in the source I have specified image source dot gallery. Now, here I am checking if the image is not null then image path dot value equals to image dot path now what is this image path this image path variable i have created here and i have made it reactive with the help of dot obs okay now here if the image is not null then image dot path this means whatever image that is has been selected by the user the path of that image will be stored inside this image path but if the image is null then we will display a message to the user that image selection has been cancelled okay now let me move to create employee view now let's observe this obx widget in the obx widget here i have written controller dot image path dot value equals to equals to blank this means if it is empty then this text widget will be displayed but if it is not empty then whatever image selected by the user that particular image will be displayed as a background image in circle avatar okay let me show you let me click here let me select an image and you can see that selected image has been displayed as a background image in circle avatar okay now for this button i have used this constraint box and as a child i have used elevated button and here i have used the text as create employee and whenever i will click here at that time this validate and save method will be called which will take name and department now name it will take the value from the name editing controller and department will take the value from department editing controller now let me move to this method now here i have used is form valid now this is form valid i have created here you can see that is form valid having the type as boolean and 
its initial value is false now here i am writing form key dot current save dot validate now if this is not means if the form is valid then this else portion will execute and if the form is not valid then this if portion will execute now if i click here then see the name and department since the form is not valid this message this messages are displayed okay that's it for today's video in the next video i will show you how to create this uh, employee details or how to save this employee details to upright thank you so much for watching